What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about the iOS 14.5, which stopped being signed by Apple a couple of minutes ago. This is particularly important for those of you who want to jailbreak, especially on the newer devices. So the TSS signing status posted, quote, iOS 14.5 is no longer being signed for 44 devices. So as you can see, if you check for the iPhone 12 Pro here, it shows 14.5.1 but not 14.5. Now there are some good news as well, but you should keep in mind that the iOS 14.5 was not a version you should stay on, in fact it was a version you should avoid. So as you probably remember, if you check out the content of the security log on 14.5, you can see that it's full of vulnerabilities, which means that the creation of a jailbreak using any of the powerful ones here is definitely possible. But if you compare them with the 14.5.1, which is still signed at this moment, it's currently the latest version available, released on May 3rd, you can see that the only difference that it makes is two WebKit vulnerabilities that were patched from 14.5 to 14.5.1. That's actually good because it means that if you updated the 14.5.1 but you intended to stay on 14.5 and wait for a jailbreak, then you didn't do anything particularly wrong. Don't get me wrong, you're on the worst version possible at this moment. However, updating the 14.5.1 did not do anything worse than it already was. So to recap, for those of you who are new to the jailbreak community and just want a jailbreak, there is no jailbreak right now for anything newer than 14.3. If you're running 14 point three or older than that uncover will support your device or Torin if you have an iPhone 10 or older check rain would work on 14.5.1 all the way down to 14.0 13 12 and so on so that's currently what's going on for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak on 14.4.1 14.4 14.4.2 .4 the best chance would be to stay on 14.4.2 or lower as Frida Sandbox also mentioned here they said quote if you want to run an iOS LPE or local privilege escalation it's probably wise to stay on 14.4.2 and of course the reason they said that was the huge amount of vulnerabilities that were patched in 14.5 now 14.5 as you can see it's no longer available however for some devices it may still appear as signed for example for iPhone 11 Pro at least right now in my country at this moment when I'm making this video it does show as being signed however if I go here to iPhone 12 Pro it's no longer signed but this is probably either a glitch with the API that IPSW.me has or it simply is some cached response so yes you should believe that at this point 14.5 is no longer signed so this is not a huge problem for the jailbreak community. In fact, as I said, 14.5 patches a lot of the vulnerabilities that we could use for both Uncover and Torin. So it's probably a good thing that it got unsigned because if it did, people will probably start releasing more and more of their vulnerabilities for 14.4.2 because, well, 14.5 which patched them is no longer signed and 14.5.1 is already a newer version forward. So with 14.6 already in the works because Apple also released today a beta for the 14.6, it means that many of the security researchers having these vulnerabilities here will probably start making write-ups for them or flat out release them on GitHub and so on. While it may take a little bit more time for a jailbreak to pop up for 14.4.2, 14.4.1 and 14.4, it's likely that we are now closer than ever. So definitely do not update past iOS 14.4.2. Now of course if you're running 14.4.2, updating to 14.5.1 would definitely be a trap tragic mistake because you would lose all these vulnerabilities here which definitely could be used for a jailbreak. Remember there's also a couple of Pengu kernel vulnerabilities in here which seem to be pretty interesting. So yeah, iOS 14.5 no longer signed, if you want to jailbreak stay on 14.4.2, do not update the 14.5.1 no matter how many notifications you get and wait for the release video on this channel. You of course will be notified as long as you enable the bell in order to get notifications from YouTube and of course you need to be subscribed. Thank Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.